Well, earlier on today, Toronto FC held the first pick in this year's MLS Super Draft, and it was Lipscomb forward Tyrese Spicer who was the selection. And what a moment it was for Tyrese and his family, as you can see there. And just to bring you up to date, to round out the top five, the Colorado Rapids picked Duke midfielder Wayne Frederick. Dallas selected Oregon State forward Logan Farrington. Commander Stuart Banks was selected by the Rapids with pick number four, and Washington defender Nate Jones went to Austin FC. And it's a real pleasure now to have Tyrese Spicer join us. Tyrese, first of all, congratulations. You're heading to Toronto FC. I mean, describe your emotions when you heard your name called and what it means to you and your family. Oh, it means everything, honestly. Um, I've just been working so hard for this moment. It's a dream come true. Um, it's just like I'm overwhelmed with words. Uh, I can't even explain it. But like, I just thank God, honestly, for this opportunity. Like, I just want to thank everyone that was in... Uh, my back just guided me through this thick and thin. Um, it wasn't easy getting here. It was definitely easy getting here. Uh, I want to thank my dad. I want to thank my mom. I want to thank my coach at um, Lipscomb. I want to thank my aunt for always having my back in America. Auntie Alvin, I want to say thank you to you. Thank my uncle for buying me my first PC was here sitting down with me. I want to thank my, my, my classmates uh, from my cat, my boy Kyle, he's uh, he's always here, like supporting me. I just want to thank everybody, honestly. So take us through that moment. Obviously, everyone dreams of being the number one overall pick, but there were quite a few names that were tossed out to be taken by Toronto number one overall. Yeah. What was your level of expectation going into today? Do you think you go number one? And just sort of describe that moment of what it's like when you hear your name. Uh, waking up today, I was I was definitely excited. I was like, maybe there's a chance because I had talks with Toronto. But I just wasn't in sure if I would be number one. But I had like a tour that it could happen. Uh, I prayed about it, and indeed it just it happens. Uh, let it out of my control. Uh, I'm so excited for them to trust me and trust in my abilities to go out there on that field. And whenever I get that chance, like I would definitely go take it. I just want to say hello to the, the Toronto fans. Like Tyree Spicer is coming there to to do some big things. <laughs> There's so much to look forward to on the football side of things, and I'm sure they absolutely can't wait for you to arrive. But I want to know how excited you are to be moving to Toronto. Have you ever been there before, and what are you most looking forward to? Uh, I've only been there once, um, honestly. Uh, I know it's very multicultural. I know it's very diverse, uh, Toronto. I would definitely like to, to, to get some good food in Toronto because I know there's, like, Trinidad people and Trinidad restaurants over there. So it will feel like home. It will feel like I'm back in a uh, little Trinidad in, in Toronto. Um, I just know the culture is very good. I know everyone's like welcoming. When I when I go there, it's just gonna be fun. Can't confirm, by the way, the food in Toronto is absolutely <laughs> spectacular. You're gonna eat brilliantly there. But talk a little bit about your Trinidad roots and obviously maybe any chances to play for the international side of Trinidad and Tobago. What ultimately would it mean to play for your country and how important are your roots and, and where your family come from and, and who you are as a footballer? Uh, yeah, like my background, uh, my parents, would I would have to say that had a very imp a big impact in my life. Just being humble, just staying focused on my goals, not uh, doing too much. Um, I just think that this opportunity I got here being the number one draft pick, I think that they will open some eyes. And I think that uh, the coach of Trinidad and Tobago, maybe he will see this and maybe uh, my work on the field when I when I get to Toronto and I develop my skill, I think he would maybe give me a shot because I know uh, Toronto, I mean, I know uh, Canada is playing Trinidad and Tobago in uh, the, the Copa America qualifying. So, like, that would be very exciting to have, like, even just get the opportunity to go there and just play against uh, Canada. I'm hoping that I can represent my country in the future. Uh, put in the work, and I'll definitely keep putting in the work no matter what. Now, this current Toronto setup has Lorenzo Insigne, has Federico Bernardeschi. We don't know if they'll be there for the longer term, but I think it illustrates a club that has enormous ambitions. You know that even if they go, they will replace them with big stars. What would that mean to you to play alongside players of that quality? Uh, it would mean a lot to me because I saw them playing on TV. I saw them uh, playing with, uh, I saw Benedeschi playing with uh, Ronaldo at um, Juventus. Like, it's, it's crazy to me just to think I'll be in the same locker room. I'll be able to talk to them. I'll be able to shake their hands. And the one thing I admire the most, I'll be able to gather, like, a lot of information from them and hear, like, a lot of feedback and, and help. Let them help me improve my game and get my game better to the top level. And I'll definitely like to, to go to Europe sometime. 
Oh, that's so exciting. Uh, when you look at Toronto, though, it looks like there could be potentially a rebuild that's coming up because of where they finished last season in the standings. And now John Herdman, obviously, as the head coach, how much does it excite you to play under him? And what are you going to bring to this team uh, to allow them to finish higher up the table next season? I think I could bring to uh, this team uh, the excitement, a uh, new type of play and dynamicness uh, up top. Um, I definitely think I, I could fit very well into the team. I think the fans will enjoy my playing style because I'm direct. I score goals. I'm explosive. Like um, John Herman, I think he saw that in me. Um, I think that he would give me the opportunity once I work and I keep putting in the work. And whenever I do get um, I get allowed that opportunity, I would come on there and I would make a big impact. I think that uh, the team... The fans will like me. Um, I think the culture there, the team culture is very good and I will adapt to it. And I'll, I'll have a good, uh, good surrounding around me. Now, Tyrese, one of the biggest jumps for a player is obviously that step up from playing in college to playing at MLS level. What kind of guidance have you gotten about how big that step is and what ultimately are you setting out to do over these next few months to ready yourself for, for a professional journey? Uh, honestly, I know it's a big jump. I know the D1 level is good, but just to make that jump from MLS, to make that jump to MLS is going to be a big, uh, going to be a big step. But I back myself. I back myself 100. I have the confidence in myself to, to adjust to any challenge. Like I gotta start to go there and put in the extra work. It, it, whether that be just going there, doing extra after training or doing extra before training, like or getting like a individual coach to help me understand my role and responsibilities better like i'm i'm there willing to put in the work this is my dream this is my job like i have a, a responsibility to, and i have like um uh, pressure on my shoulders that i could uh, control well tyrese we're rooting you on best of luck in toronto we can't wait to see you there and congratulations again i hope you really enjoy it thank you thank you very much